Inside this box is a guitar, an instrument I have no idea how to play, which is probably not a surprise to anybody who has actually watched any videos on this channel, despite my appearance looking like I may be able to play guitar. Uh, no, definitely can't. But I might be able to rip out a very poorly performed rendition of Smoke on the Water. This guitar is made by the guys over at ALP, or ALP, which stands for Advanced Live Performance. Now, they did actually send us this guitar to check out on the channel. I'm not sure why. Surely they've seen all our other instrument videos and just know that I'm bad at playing instruments. But hey, they sent it to us and I'm very grateful. Now I get to play a guitar poorly for everybody on the internet. Why do I do this to myself? Hmm. <laughs> Fresh box smell. And here is the guitar in the Alp guitar case. It's not a bad looking case. It's got a substantial handle right here. It's also got an over the shoulder strap on the back. It's got a pocket on the back there and it's then got a few zipped pockets on the front. Is there anything inside? Yes, what we got? A micro USB cable and some Allen keys. And now for the guitar itself. Dana. Ooh, look at that. So this right here is a headless electric guitar. Look how compact this thing is. So what you get is actually a full size guitar neck, but minus the head. So I think it actually makes it about the same size as a Daisy Rock guitar. Actually, I think they're the exact same size. Now, if you're wondering why we have a Daisy Rock guitar, despite having zero experience with electric guitars, let me just say that my partner just likes to buy things because they're cute, not because they want to play them. Hence why we've got a Daisy Rock guitar. Also, before we continue talking about the guitar, look at the lining inside this case. It's so soft. You ASMR people. That was for you. So apart from being really compact, what other features does this guitar have? Well, you can make it less compact by using the foldable body, which increases the size quite substantially. I like the way it locks into place, but it's not so locked in that it's hard to put back. Just enough to be secure, but not enough to be troublesome. And then also if you want to expand the knee rest just here, just hold down the button and pull it out. And this part here is actually really secure. So you can actually put a lot of pressure on there. You don't have to worry about it sliding back up. And as you can see right there, you've basically got a full guitar body with one press of a button and one flick of the wrist. Now kind of unfortunately this guitar doesn't come with a strap but it does have little strap knobs either side here so you can attach a strap if you have one. The body itself is made out of aluminium which doesn't just look cool but it's also really durable. I imagine you can bash this guitar around quite a bit and not have to worry about it too much unless you're planning to go like full clash on this thing then it might not bear too well. On the bottom here you've got your audio out to plug into an amplifier then you've also got a headphone port and a micro USB to charge this thing. Now the only reason that you're going to want to charge this guitar is so you can actually use the headphone port, but once it's charged, you can use it for up to eight hours non-stop. So it's got quite a lot of charge time in it. You've got three knobs just here, one to adjust headphone and amplifier volume, one to adjust guitar volume, and the other one to adjust tone. You also have a five position toggle on the front here to change the tone as well. And my favorite part, on the top here, you've actually got a little hidden compartment to put your plectrums, and that's just adorable. To tune this guitar, you've got the machine head down here. This is also modularized, so if you ever need to upgrade it or change it for any reason, you can easily take it out and replace it with a new one. What I like about the fact that this comes with a headphone port is that you can pretty much just have silent play with this, so you don't have to annoy anyone around the house. Just plug it in and practice without bothering anybody, which is fantastic for any parents out there who thought, hey, let's buy little Timmy a guitar. What could go wrong? And then have to listen to insane sufferable renditions of Nirvana songs, Green Day songs, Blink-182, or whatever's popular with the kids these days, which they want to learn on guitar as soon as they get one. It's a shame you guys can't hear this right now. I'm totally ripping an awesome guitar solo. Definitely not just making this up. Using headphones with this guitar does work pretty well, though there is a constant hissing, which I can't figure out how to get rid of. It doesn't completely ruin the experience of using this guitar with headphones, but the fact that I can't figure out what's causing it is just a tad bit annoying. I think that's an E. That sounded like ass. It's probably not a chord. Now it's time to pull out the old PV. Now you guys can't escape from the awful sounds of my guitar playing. I'm sorry in advance. <laughs> Now, obviously this guitar is a bit out of tune, but I don't think I'm actually qualified to tune this guitar because I'm actually tone deaf. Oh, I remember guitar tabs. Look at those bad boys. Doesn't that just bring back memories? Now I'm not gonna tell you what song this is. You're gonna have to guess. You're definitely gonna be able to guess because I'm gonna play this perfectly. When 
Do I wake up? Oh, do I wanna be? I'm gonna be the man who wakes up next to you. <laughs> I now know the Scottish national anthem. Despite my obvious tone deafness, I'm actually gonna try and tune this thing. So I downloaded the guitar tuner app. Some of the guitars Alp cells actually have a built-in electric tuner, but this one doesn't, so I'm gonna have to use the app. That is one tuned guitar right there. All right, let's give the Proclaimers another go. Let's do them justice. Do you need an E? A and a B, which I think is. Ooh, oh, that doesn't sound right at all. Watch out, I will beat you. When I wake up, well, I know I'm gonna be, I'm gonna. Be. Be the man who. Wakes up next to you. For my first impressions of this guitar, and again, bear in mind this is coming from someone who doesn't really know much about electric guitars. I'm really liking the setup here. I love how compact it is. I mean, just the fact that you can just fold the body away and right there, you've got a really portable guitar. It is really well built. Everything is really solid. The headphone port on the bottom there is a really nice touch and everything just seems to work. Now there might be things about this guitar that if you gave it to an experienced guitar player that they just might not like about it. But for me, this just seems like an overall good pack Package, especially if you are starting out playing guitar. But obviously I can't imagine it replacing anybody's BC Rich or Gibson SG or Fender Strat. If you want to pick up a good quality compact guitar, you really can't go too wrong with this. Shout out once again to Natasha Savage on our Patreon. Thank you very much for your support. And if you like this video, hit like. If you really like all our videos, hit subscribe. We've got more videos on the way. You can also follow us on our social pages. If you want to support the channel further, check out the links in the description to our Patreon account. And you can also chat with us on Discord and we will see you guys in the next one. One. Have a good one.